Research has shown that students who further their education beyond high school potentially earn more in their lifetime than students who drop out of high school or end their education simply with a high school diploma. Often, the difference between lifelong success and failure is having a plan of action in place in order to achieve one's goal. Our career technical and agricultural education program are designed to prepare you to further your education after high school, guiding you to be more competitive in today's more global marketplace while increasing the potential for future success. So the graphic design and communications pathway is an opportunity for students to learn how to create designs and products that help to communicate a message. With this pathway, it can give you many options and like it gives you a little sense of creativity as well if you don't want to like physically paint or something. This you can digitally design things and plus since we're coming up into a new era where everything's kind of digital, it just relates more tell you this pathway is important because there is a major emphasis on communicating with other people and young people these days uh, tend to struggle with having one-on-one -on -one conversations so we can help force this to make sure that both clients and designers uh, can come to a common understanding to make that vision and to make that design reality. teaching as a profession pathway teacher. So my pathway is for anyone who thinks they may want to be a teacher, anyone who's ever had a favorite teacher, anyone who has not had a favorite teacher and wish they had a favorite teacher. Um, really it's for anyone. If you're a student, if you are ever going to work with people, this is who should take that pathway. We do learn about the teaching profession, but we learn just a lot of life skills. How to work with people, how to solve problems, how to present information clearly. We get to do a lot of school decorations. We get to do a lot of bulletin boards. We get to talk to our favorite teachers and go back and visit them. You get to go back to the middle and elementary school in your second and third years. And we also learn a lot about just how people learn in general. I'm in my third year of the Teaching as a Profession pathway at Greenbrier High School. And by taking this pathway, I feel like I've really like learned like what I want to do when I get older and this pathway has like helped me build skills like for being a teacher um, like when I am a teacher. <laughs> After I complete this pathway I would like to pursue a teaching career and be the teacher that I always wanted and build relationships with my students and other teachers around me just how I felt like I should have gotten when I was a student. So my pathway can help you get jobs in daycare centers, babysitters, um, but it can also just help you in any kind of leadership position that you might want to go pursue after high school. So if you want to be a leader, come see me. If you want to be a teacher, come see me. If you don't know what you want to be, you should sign up for my pathway because you will get the skills here that can take you anywhere. So this is the first year of the uh, finance pathway and uh, we have one class right now, Intro to Business and Technology. The overall idea behind it is kind of a survey course, gives you a little bit of uh, work on some soft skills such as presenting and creating, uh, while at the same time looking at things like uh, business organizations, marketing, uh, basic economics, and uh, just in general just kind of moving towards uh, the completion of the finance pathway, which will be in a couple of years. As of right now, we're doing uh, investments and, and stock market, and uh, it shows us, I guess, more options. Uh, tried to bring in uh, speakers from around the community to uh, give students a varied idea of what's going around uh, or how the business world functions, different versions of the business world as well. Uh, so I think sometimes having that input and that insight for people that are really in involved in the world of, of business uh, is going to be uh, beneficial to the students so that they can get as, as many different perspectives and ideas of what's happening because you know nothing's uniform and uh, different people uh, have different uh, ideas about how to run businesses and uh, different businesses do things differently so it's important to be able to uh, you know have an idea or have the ability to, to uh, differentiate your, your styles, whether that's as an employee or as a learner. Everybody is becoming an entrepreneur and one of the best ways to make money is through starting your own business and 
promoting product. Uh, right now there is a Microsoft Office Word certification and we'll be looking to uh, do that in the second semester of this year. Uh, but then there's, you know, we're always on the lookout for any other type of certifications that students will have that will enable them to lead this uh, pathway and, and be able to uh, take these skills into their next step of life. Some of the students that we come in contact with and join our program is probably the majority of them are uh, students whose parents were former military or currently are military from Fort Borden. Um, and then we have a lot of athletes um, and a lot of band members also uh, join our pathway. Um, so it's not really single one person or this type of person, it's, it's, it's all across the board. Alright, so this is Allied Health. This is one of our third year pathway completer courses. Our other courses, they start with Intro to Healthcare and then Essentials of Healthcare. And then when you get to the third year, you get to choose between taking Sports Medicine with Ms. Meadows or Allied Health with either Ms. Cushman or myself. In Allied Health, we learn a variety of patient care skills, including our vital signs, our basic care skills. Today, we're learning bathing skills here with Mr. Brick. We also learn phlebotomy, drug administration, and how to perform EKGs or electrocardiograms. There we do blood pressure, pulse, um, CPR, bed changing, all sorts of stuff. It's really cool, really fun. Um, and I think it's really good just to learn all this stuff. We get to do clinical and actually shadow in the hospital, so we get to learn a lot of stuff. You get to graduate high school with a certification or potentially graduate with a certification as a clinical medical assistant. It looks great on resumes. It looks great for anybody trying to get into nursing school, medical school, PA school, you name it because it shows that you're already a healthcare professional and you have a commitment to a career in healthcare. Um, also, all these places are looking for people who know how to be professionals. And so when you have these skills, when you have the certification, that is proof that you are ready for a career in healthcare. science. Uh, this is a three-year program. Um, in the first year we cover basics of nutrition, safety, and sanitation. Our second year is food for life and so for that one we go through the lifespan and we talk about how nutrients change throughout. And our last year is food science. So that's our chemistry based course. Uh, why does food do what it does whenever we cook it? So I took this uh, pathway because I really like cooking and I wanted to get more into it and this pathway has also helped me get my uh, job. I took this pathway because it's going to help me decide if I want to be a nutritionalist and gives me really good life skills like cutting, cleaning, and just many other good things. We learn a lot of very useful skills. Uh, one of the biggest ones is just how to put a simple and basic meal on the table for your family. Uh, we don't learn a lot of the, like the culinary type items, but we do kind of look at uh, cooking terminology and we look at knife skills and um, different equipment that you would use to make recipes. Our cyber track is a three-year track, starting out with introduction to hardware technology, followed the next year by introduction to cybersecurity, and finally advanced cybersecurity. So in that in that whole track, we, we try to cover uh, all the way from hardware to software to uh, s security via computers and also physical security. So the cyber pathway is its a really good pathway to go into, especially now with the more evolving cyber world and with Evans and Augusta area being the cyber center of the nation. Some good skills you'll learn, you'll learn how to build computers, um, you'll learn how to diagnose issues with them. You'll learn about the software behind them and the hardware. You'll learn some about networking and then you'll even make your own ethernet cable. Most of what we do or the best experience of the cyber track is outside of the classroom. So there's the competitions. Uh, we go to the cyber center and, and compete there as well. And we've won the last two of those. As far as Cyber Patriot goes, we hold many um, great rankings in that. We've been first in the state for the past few years. We've had good nation placings. And those are all skills that you'll learn in this class. You'll learn about 
red team or blue team and the hacking and defending side. You'll learn about how you should secure a computer and how you guard against an attacker. And with the current evolving cyber world, you'll also learn some practical things that you can implement into your life um, to keep yourself more secure. We do a lot of external work that actually supports the education process as well. Uh, Law and Safety Program here at Greenbrier uh, is a pathway of three years of courses, starting with Intro to Law Enforcement, uh, continuing on Criminal Justice Essentials, and finishing up with Forensic Science Criminal Investigations. And it appeals really to people who are interested in uh, careers in, of course, law enforcement, uh, firefighting, EMS, public safety, of just by any sort, lawyers, um, and really anybody that's just interested in how our criminal justice system works. Even if you don't uh, plan on a career in one of those fields, it's good to get a background knowledge of those who do serve us in that capacity every day. So we'll learn everything from uh, constitutional law to firefighting techniques to um, patrol techniques, um, investigations of crime scenes, traffic accidents, uh, all sorts of myriad different um, aspects of the criminal justice field. Benefits of the pathway is that it has lots of internship opportunities. It teaches you teamwork building skills, communication, and how to be an overall great person. Live your passion. Follow your pathway. Find your purpose. Enroll in career technical and agricultural education because CTA makes your future reality. Please contact Greenbar High School to learn more about CTAE.